of his problems. I wish we had the picture. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not only is firefighter Tim cooking in the kitchen this morning, he and Tatiana Narwhal, the executive director for the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation, are here to tell you about a big upcoming fundraiser. Now, tell you what, Tim, let's get started with you here. What is colitis and also what is Crohn's disease? So they're, they're sort of like an uh, autoimmune disease. Uh, tax, it's an, uh, uh, sorry, I'm, uh, bowel, inflammatory bowel disease. Jeez, I froze up there, everybody. Sorry about that. <laughs> inflammatory bowel disease. Uh, so what that means is my body is attacking, and I have ulcerative colitis. So I, I found out when I was 32. Um, we had actually gone to Jamaica and came home, and I started having some issues. Hmm. Uh, and I thought, I just, man, I ate something bad in Jamaica. It's just going to last. And so one of the reasons I'm, I'm a big proponent of talking about it is because I waited and I've talked about this before on here. I waited several months before I even said something to Teresa. So I had gotten really sick. I was losing a lot of weight. Uh, you know, it's not a, the most pleasant thing to talk about when right. you have a bowel problem. You know, you don't want to go. It's embarrassing at first. And now that's why I'm an open book. You know, I don't want people to embarrass. I don't want them to get as sick as I got before I got help. And so, you know, and it's really good when you talk about the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation uh, because they give you that community, uh, that outreach, to be able to talk about it, to find people that are going through the same thing you are. And as big as my network between the firefighters and my family, I have this close group that's there for me. It's still to be able to talk to somebody that knows exactly what you're going through is such a help. And that's why Tatiana Narwald is here because the Crohn, Crohn's and Colitis Foundation has got a big fundraiser coming up at Connor Prairie, and that is in June. Yeah, June uh, 10th. Walk us through the particulars. Yeah, well, we're really excited this year because, as Tim said, you know, IBD diseases are so large on the spectrum. Everybody's journey is different. So new this year, in 2023, we have a brand new look, mm. a brand new feel, and a brand new experience to honor all of those affected by IBD. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we are doing is teams will come together, whether they're family, friends, co-workers, and they've all been fundraising this spring season. And we'll continue to do that up to the day of where we have this walk with the ribbons. They can sign up for why they are here and what they are doing and who they are walking for. And we really just get to bring the whole community together. So once you're diagnosed with the Crohn's or colitis here, does it stay with you for the rest of your life? Yes. Okay. Yes. So we are trying to find cures. Uh, through our research, but most people, what we are trying to get them to first is remission. And so actually at this event new this year, we're going to have Mount Remission, which is this mm. entire mountain blow up. You know, it's just this map of all the journeys, all the highs and lows and peaks and valleys that these individuals and their families go through throughout their lifetime. I was thinking about what Tim said about, you know, delaying going to the doctor and yes. checking it out. I mean, I would think awareness has really got to be key because especially with an autoimmune disease, if you don't go to the doctor, it could be anything, right? Yes. Yes. Well. So at the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation, we kind of have uh, different sectors of that. We are helping the patients and the caregivers mm -hmm. through our support programs. We are funding the research early on to make sure that it's getting to the market and getting to the patients. Mm -hmm. But then we also have the professional side of things with the doctors that we're giving them access to, fun to figuring out the research much sooner, much quicker, and getting it on the market as soon as we can for these families. Real quick, I'm guessing that the guys are more likely to put it off than the women, right? When you, uh, you know, yeah. I was, and that, like I said, again, that's why now I'm an open book about it, yeah. because I don't want people to wait. I want them to go get help, find out, you know, if you have, and when you try to research it yourself, the problem is it could be anything. So mm -hmm. you get yeah. to the doctor, you find out, yeah. and then you get in, in contact with somebody like the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation who can really help you yeah. kind of narrow in on what you're dealing with. And the sad thing is our largest growing patient population is under the age of 18. So we wow. have to also educate the parents on how to talk to their kiddos that, hey, it might not just be a stomach ache. You see Randy Ollis to my right, right on top of him, there is a QR code. Check okay. it out. Just wave your phone over it. Yep. It'll take you to the links.